Hi guys. Well, I am thrilled to say this absolutely sweltering, miserable Monday morning has turned into a lovely rainy Monday afternoon. It is June 28, 2021, and uh, we have gone from 95 degrees and 85% humidity. We've gone from wet bulb is now 82 and I guess 100% humidity, but man, we need it. No one is complaining. I'm sure uh, Seattle, Washington would trade places with us, but guys, uh, I think there's enough being spoken about uh, with Seattle and Portland and Vancouver and the whole bit. So uh, we're going to turn our attention away from our own country and go over there to China. So I'm thrilled to say Yahoo News has started this thing, you know, where their little bots you know, start looking at my search history. So Yahoo News is doing a tailor-made, what does this guy want to read about? And uh, they're getting better, you know, looking at my search history and whatnot and figuring out Yahoo News's Doomer News. And they came up with this one. This was the first one uh, on their little Rolodex this Monday morning. Good for them. China turns on world's second biggest hydropower dam. And you know where the first biggest uh, hydropower dam on the planet is. That would be in China. Remember that Three Gorges Dam, uh, how long has that been there? You know, the single biggest planet-eating uh, <coughs> hydroelectric dam. I'm pretty sure it, it eradicated a species of freshwater dolphin off of the face of the planet. I remember when they were discussing it and they knew before they did it, it was going to eradicate the species of freshwater dolphin off the planet. They went right ahead, and I think maybe some giant catfish is also uh, heading off into oblivion. So with that lesson, I guess they're scaling down to the second biggest uh, hydropower plant uh, on the planet. Of course, guys, although it doesn't mention it here, is, you know, this is part of a major push from the UN Sustainable Development is hydropower. The United Nations, along with biofuels and, uh, you know, calling hydropower clean, green energy, uh, that we can just build all of the dams, just the concrete in this dam, you know, concrete, people don't realize, is one of the single biggest uh, greenhouse gas emitters, you know, making concrete. My guess is just the concrete in this dam will use more, put more greenhouse gases into the air than if they had just built some giant coal burning plant and built and, and used it for 20 years. No mention of greenhouse gases in the concrete and uh, all of the fossil fuels. You know, the, the hydropower is a major example of the bright green lie. It, it is one of the most glaring bright green lies out there of all the lies that the United Nations is spouting out about how they're concerned about this planet, the hydropower push and, you know, like holding up Costa Rica as, uh, you know, the poster child, Costa Rica, uh, it, you know, because of all their hydropower. I think I've mentioned this. Uh, I actually wrote a book. You might still be able to find it called Pura Vida, the waterfalls and hot springs of Costa Rica. I was down there in 1992, you know, tromping all through the jungle looking for these over-the-top, well, it's a waterfall, over-the-top gorgeous waterfalls, you know, way back in the rainforest and stuff. And over and over again, the locals down there were saying, gringo, 
enjoy this waterfall while you still can because these planet eaters are getting ready to turn this waterfall, uh, this gorgeous jungle waterfall into a goddamn uh, hydropower plant and flooding out hundreds of thousands of acres of Costa Rican, um, you know, rainforest, uh, all of the roads, everything. It, it, it's, the, it, it's the biggest damn lie, Costa Rica claiming uh, how they're saving the planet by, you know, turning all of these gorgeous wilderness waterfalls and hot springs and whatnot in, into these giant hydropower plants. It, it, it is one more of these big, fat, bright green lies that these clueless moron little lefty greenies uh, believe in this crap. It is it, it, BS. Uh, but anyway, I think I've gotten off on my own rant. I think I was supposed to be talking about China and I got off on the United Nations and Costa Rica, but uh, Pura Vida, the waterfalls and hot springs of Costa Rica, you might still be able to find it on Amazon if you want to go uh, order that book and look at all of the former waterfalls of Costa Rica. But we're going to go back over to China. <clears throat> China turns on world's second biggest hydropower dam. <clears throat> the first two generating units of the world's second biggest hydroelectric dam were officially turned on Monday, today, in southwestern China. The government announced, the, that proud Chinese government, the Baihitan Dam on the Jinsha River, a tributary of the Yangtze, is part of Chinese efforts to curb surging fossil fuel demand by building more hydropower capacity at a time when dams have fallen out of favor in other countries due to environmental complaints. I have no idea what they're talking about here. No clue what other country they're talking about where hydropower has fallen out of favor. It would be nice if they if they mentioned some of these countries. Uh, it, as far as I know, every country on the planet uh, is going full scale ahead. Um, it's maybe here in the U.S., maybe here in the U.S., we've already dammed uh, every river we can. Uh, so anyway, that's a, that's a real knee slapper. Yes, dams have fallen out of favor in other countries due to environmental complaints. <clears throat> the announcement comes ahead of the ruling Communist Party's celebration this week of the official 100th anniversary of its 1921 founding. Something to celebrate. Those commies, those commies, yes, plans for the 289 meter tall, otherwise known as 954 foot tall, let's call it a thousand feet. Doesn't say how wide this thing is, as I say, probably enough uh, greenhouse gas emissions, the environmental destruction going into this dam. Uh, anyway, plans for the 1,000 foot tall uh, by Heaton Dam to have 16 generating units with a capacity of 1 million kilowatts each. So we're looking at 16 million kilowatts. That will make it second in size after the Three Gorges Dam opened in 2003 on the Yangtze with 22 and a half million kilowatts of generating capacity. Both dams were built by the state-owned Three Gorges Group Corporation. There you go, the Three Gorges Group Corporation, the world's biggest investor in hydropower, solar, and wind generation. 
We're not even going to get off on the rest of this uh, bright green lie about the solar and the wind. <clears throat> All right, what about losing support in other countries? Hydropower is losing support in other countries, again, which they do not name, due to complaints that dams flood communities and farmland and disrupt the ecology of rivers, threatening fish and other species. And then, of course, the other uh, big thing about these giant hydropower dams, this is more true in tropical countries like Brazil and Costa Rica, is <clears throat> the methane, you know, that they, they drown hundreds of thousands of acres of, uh, of rainforest vegetation. They just drown it, and all of that stuff is just, is just rotting, uh, just rotting down there in this hot water with the sun beating down on it, just uh, huge amounts of methane start bubbling out of these. I mean, they're just boiling cauldrons of methane, you know, about, I don't know, 10 or 20 years after they, they use all the fossil fuels to build the thing, okay, uh, then we have, the, you know, a huge release of methane uh, going on behind these dams that might not be quite as true in China as it is Brazil, but nowhere does this article mention the methane bomb going off behind all of these dams. Nowhere factored in, nowhere are, is the methane release from these things going to be factored in to the greenhouse gas emissions. Anyone who knows anything about methane knows it's a hell of a lot more uh, dangerous to the atmosphere than CO2. But anyway, I'm just adding that since uh, the article decided not to mention it. Uh, but of course, uh, disrupting the ecology of rivers, yes, threatening fish and other species. <clears throat> However, despite, despite the criticism by environmentalists, Chinese leaders and Brazilian leaders and uh, Peruvian leaders and Indonesian leaders and Malaysian leaders and uh, African leaders all over the continent of Africa. There's one of these big ass dams going up in Romania. Uh, despite criticisms by environmentalists, Chinese leaders and leaders from dozens of other countries who are not concerned about the environmental damages are building more dams in an effort to reduce reliance on coal to curb the surging demand for imported oil and gas. Uh, China is already a leader in developing ultra-high voltage line technology to move power from dams in the southwest to Shanghai and other eastern cities. Uh, according to the Three Gorges Group, once this dam is fully operational, it should eliminate the need to burn 20 million tons of coal annually. I'm not even going to start breaking all of that, that big fat lie uh, down. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, is there anybody on this planet believing that hydropower uh, is clean, green energy? It, it, it is one of the single biggest bright green lies being promulgated by everybody from the Three Gorges Corporation, the Chinese government, uh, Jair Bozo Nero, to the United Nations, the biggest cheerleader of all. Uh, but anyway, the rain seems to have slacked off. A ray of sunshine reappearing so the little dog and I need to get back out. We are sighting our tiny house. Our tiny house is coming along 
So uh, I am uh, nailing up what used to be a pine tree a couple of weeks ago so I can have some new siding on my tiny house. Get out there and enjoy your tiny house while you still can. All right, little dog. You need to get back out there. Bye, guys.